Hey everybody, welcome into this video editing tutorial. My name is Nathaniel Dodson. Uh, today we're doing a sponsored video. My friends over at Filmora, they've just released Filmora 9, or recently they've released Filmora 9, and I'm gonna do sort of an overview, show you how I edit, uh, just a quick like vlog style video, just some simple editing techniques. Uh, Filmora 9, is it's just such an easy video editor. It's fast, it's fun, it's great especially if you're a beginner to video editing and you haven't gotten into the, some of the advanced stuff. Uh, the advanced stuff, frankly, might look really intimidating. For more 9, it's really, really easy to use. I've been having a blast using it. And we, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to just do a lot of relatively simple editing, but stuff that's really going to help you take your editing game to the next level as well. If you think you'd be interested in Filmora 9, you can check it out. There's a link down in the bio. It is, uh, you can just well sign up for a one-time fee and have the software and not have to worry about, uh, you know, those pesky monthly fees for your video editor. Um, it's something, you know, download the free trial. Check it out for yourself. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy. It's fast. It's snappy. I've really been enjoying it. Uh, let's jump into this tutorial now and check this thing out. All righty, here we are with the hero of the hour, Filmora 9. Let's go ahead and choose to create a new project right off the bat. I'm going to bump it to full screen. The first thing we have to do is import some files, some video, some audio, whatever we want. I've got some video. Uh, you can hit the import button and choose files, but really the easiest way to do this, I think, is just to open your finder or your explorer, grab all the files you want to import, drag them, drop them, voila, you're going to see just like that they're all imported. Now, one quick thing that I want to cover is that these clips, all the flyovers of this Hawaii stuff, uh, these are all full 4K clips. One of the cool things that Filmora 9 will do for you is it'll take huge files like this and it'll automatically create what are called proxies, which are basically smaller, lighter files. So if you don't have a computer that's an absolute video editing monster, you'll be able to edit full 4K very, very easily because you're working with a much smaller, lighter file. You edit your whole video together, and Filmora 9 is smart enough to know that when it comes time to save the video out and upload it to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want to put your video, it will automatically swap in the full, beautiful, high-resolution, UHD, Ultra HD video clips all automatically. You don't even have to think about it. And you'll see little, see these little loaders? That's the proxy being created. So Filmora is just going in and doing it. I didn't have to tell it anything. It's just doing its thing. Now, speaking of 4K, let's go file and choose project setting and make sure that we're working in a 4K uh, resolution. So now we're working at just regular full HD. We want UHD, Ultra HD. See that 4K? That's what we want, the 16.94 4K. There we have it, and I'm going to change the frame rate to 23.97 frames per second. I'm doing that because that's what my footage is, that's what I shot in, that's what the 4K is shot in, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, before we begin our editing process and actually putting clips together, the basic idea behind the little video we're going to edit is that I'm sitting down at the table here talking about a trip to Hawaii where we're flying in this little yellow helicopter and we're seeing all this cool stuff. That's the, the gist of what we're going to do. So the, the idea is going to be we'll edit together a little intro. We add some video of me talking. And while I'm talking, ignore the double voice, while I'm talking about these different things that we're doing in this helicopter, we can use these shots, these B-roll shots, to show exactly what we were doing uh, in unison while I'm talking about it. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. And we'll get started here by building maybe a little bit of an intro for our video. I'm going to go ahead and double click this video clip. It's going to allow me to preview the clip here. And we can see it's a great shot. We see the coastline, the helicopter flying through. That looks really cool. This is what I want to be my opening establishing shot. We see that it's very Hawaiian. We see our little yellow helicopter. Uh, and it's just a, it's a shot that's going to sort of captivate you a little bit. So we'll grab this, drag it, and drop it down on our video track. And uh, to show 10 seconds of one clip right at the beginning of your video, it might be a bit much. You want to try to hook your viewers a little bit. So we'll bring this out to about three and a half seconds or so. And I know that's where that is because over here we have a time counter. So we can see three seconds and 16 frames. That's great. Now we can cut our video by either selecting the clip and hitting the little scissor icon and that's going to cut the video right where the playhead is or we can perform what's called a trim in or trim out now trimming video clips in and out is just essential it's going to make your video editing workflow so much faster basically it's a fancy term for grabbing the end of the clip and trimming it back just like that and then you realize you made a mistake and you actually want five seconds of video or, or whatever you can hover over and drag the footage right back out so it's a very non-destructive way to just go in just pull pull video in, pull it out, and let it be where it's going to be. So we got it right there around the playhead. That's great. The second shot that I want to use is this last shot. I'm going to drag this in. What I like about this shot is it's still the same yellow helicopter, 
Uh, but instead of the helicopter being so far away, all of a sudden you'll see we just bounce in and it's going to give this optical illusion like we just quickly zoomed in on our chopper. Now I'm going to take this out to, I don't know, about the 10 second mark here because the helicopter rotates around because we're looking at this waterfall. Here I'll select the clip. I'll use the scissor icon to split it, but then using the scissor icon uh, the, the, to, to cut your footage, you still have to select the extra piece of footage here and hit your delete key and just get rid of it like that. Next thing I want to do is place some kind of transition here between these two shots so we can just have a creative way for the camera to, you know, fake zoom in on our helicopter. And here in Filmora 9, we have a whole bunch of transitions. And as you look through the transitions, if you see something you might like, all you have to do is double click on it and you'll see a, a sort of preview of what it's going to look like right there in your monitor. So there's wormhole, there's all kinds of cool stuff. I think the one we're going to go with, though, is called Fisheye Roll. I might do the roll from the top here. So I'm going to just drag this down, and you can see I can place it right on the transition section of our video clip. I'm going to use my black arrow and drag the timeline a little bit just to zoom in a little on what we're working with. Now, if I real quick play through this, you can see the video footage almost stops for a second. We can edit and tweak any of these transitions by double clicking on them. It's gonna open up our transition. You can see the transition settings here where we can change the duration, that's fine. I just wanna set this to post fix. So you can see it's gonna change the positioning of the transition, hit okay. And now if we play through it, we've got a perfect transition and it just carries right on through. So now that we've done this, let's zoom back out a little bit. I want to drag in the video clip of myself talking and we'll begin trimming that and editing it now that we've created our intro. We still need to add music to the intro, but we're gonna begin working with uh, the A-roll. I'll drag this down to the timeline. The A-roll is just your main camera. It's the main footage. It's not the supporting cast. All these shots of Hawaii, they're the supporting cast, the stuff that's going to help us tell the story. Now, you can see here that this is video, and I'm speaking in the video. So not only do we have the video, but we also have audio. Filmora 9 bundles them together. I think I want to detach them and split the audio down onto its own track. It's just the way I prefer working. So we can right-click on this footage and choose Detach Audio. And you can see, boom, audio just pops out and goes down onto an audio track here. A little music and footage. See, footage is telling us it's a visual track. Audio telling us it's an audio track. And, of course, we can take the footage, drag it up to uh, this line above our intro footage, and film more, and I will automatically create another track for video. We don't really need to do that here. I want to make sure I keep the ends of these two uh, tracked audio and video. I want to make sure that the edges are lined up perfectly because that will ensure that when I speak in the video, it lines up exactly with the audio. Now, the way we want to transition from the intro, which admittedly is a boring intro, we need to add some music to it to really pull things together. We'll do that in a second. The way we want to transition out of the intro is using a technique called a J cut. And the reason it's called a J cut is because we are going to take the sound and slide it underneath the video here. Maybe it'll be easier to just explain or, or to do it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But one thing that I'm thinking about here is you're going to be hearing me talk and that's going to be very confusing because you're hearing me talk in this main microphone. So I'm going to double click on the audio here and let's change the pitch. Let's uh, have some fun with this. Maybe I'll make my voice uh, two ticks higher pitched and hit OK. That way, when I begin speaking, it sounds ridiculous, but you know who's talking. Have you ever had a vacation that has been so incredible? Right, very clear. But the point is, right here, right there at that sound peak, that's really the beginning of this clip. So let's drag a selection over both of these pieces of, uh, or this piece of video and audio. We'll use our little scissors tool to slice both right there and just delete the chunk off the front. And then we'll take this video and we'll slide it all the way back. But instead of sliding it back, I want to perform what's called a ripple delete. We're, all we have to do to get rid of the space is select the space and hit our delete key. And you can see Filmora 9 is going to bounce it all the way back so it's perfectly flush against our uh, intro video here. So we're going to hover over the front end. See the little bracket? It changes uh, the way it's pointing. I'm going to pull back on the video maybe about a second and a half, right? Something like that. And then we want to select both tracks, the video and the audio here, and just drag them until they click right into place. Now what's going to happen is before I even show up, you're going to hear my voice. This is a J cut. The reason it's called a J cut is because, you know, it roughly re resembles the, the letter J where the audio sticks past just like it is uh, in our timeline here. 
Have you ever had a vacation that has been so incredible that it lives in your dreams? Right? So there we go. We have performed our rough cut transition from the intro to uh, the A roll of me talking. And now that we have created the rough cut transition between the intro and our A roll, I want to make a couple edits here to the A roll. Maybe we'll place a jump cut in there, show you how that's done. And then we're going to add some music and mix this together and then play with some other creative effects. All right, I'm going to just use my black arrow here and zoom out a little. You can see that out here by about 55 seconds, let's see where I actually stop talking. You are beautiful. Somewhere right around there is probably great. We can drag over both clips and we can just drag these back. Well, we'll do them one at a time. That's all right. Just like so. And we've trimmed off all the excess stuff, the tail of the clip. But here, let's just scroll backward and look for an opportunity. I think maybe like this little bit here I say, let me just listen to what I say. We spent three days flying around the islands in our little yellow helicopter. We spent three days flying around the island. Uh, that's kind of essential information. Let's see what I say here. We just got back from a trip to Hawaii. That's also important that I talk about getting back from a trip to Hawaii. Forests, rainforests, jungly looking atmospheric whatevers. So there, I, I was confused on what to say and I just kind of rambled through it. Let me just listen again. Above these forests, rainforests. Right, I'm just kind of rambling. So we're going to cut that whole bit out. Helicopter. Right, so I talk about the yellow helicopter. And then right here, we're going to make a cut. So let's just grab both tracks that we want to cut, hit it with the scissor tool, and then we're going to move forward and let's see if it makes sense to pick up right here. You can see sort of there's almost these natural breaks in, in conversation. Atmospheric Okay, nope. I'm still talking about atmospheric whatever, so let's see here. Uh, we flew along the coastline, ocean We flew along the coastline. So that could, we just finished talking about the yellow helicopter here before we made the cut. So let's see if we cut out this chunk in the middle here, delete it, and then select the space and delete that. Let's see if the jump cut makes sense in terms of what I'm talking about. The islands and our little yellow helicopter. Uh, we flew along the coastline, ocean on one side. Right, not too bad. This is your simple jump cut. If you've watched any YouTube, you've probably seen a lot of people who perform jump cuts. Now, really, the technically the correct way to perform a jump cut is to cover the jump cut with some B-roll footage. So here I'm talking about flying in the little yellow helicopter and flying along the coastline of Hawaii. So let's just, let's look at some of our clips here. Let me bring up this B-roll. This looks like a nice shot that would kind of convey what I'm talking about, right? We've got the coastline. You can see the water. You can see this sort of jungly, foresty looking uh, overgrowth here on the one side. So let's drag this clip out and just cover. We'll trim it back. It doesn't even have to be that long, just a little piece. And now I begin talking about the little yellow helicopter and you'll see that you never really see the jump cut. Our little yellow helicopter. Uh, we flew along the coastline, ocean on one side, the tropical jungles on the other. Right, it works really, really nicely. And just for good measure, let's place another clip here uh, where we cut from that. Let's actually trim this out a little bit. So I want maybe a couple more seconds of that. And then we'll place another shot here of the helicopter in front of the waterfall. And, you know... Make sure the shot works. And there we go. Something like that. So we got two pieces of B-roll that we've added on top of the A-roll where I'm talking. So now that we have the visuals roughly cut together, we're going to end up fading out on the back end of this. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's just add some music as sort of a, an under track. And I'll show you how to mix it with my voice coming in at the beginning of the video here. So Filmora 9 has a library of audio that comes with it. You can check it out. And part of what I'm looking for here, like let's say, I don't know. Let's let's listen to this. We can listen to any track by double clicking it. Right, like that track, it just sounds a little bit too epic. Maybe something that should be, you know, street racing in, in Tokyo or something. It's a little bit too middle of the night sounding. Uh, let's try this. Maybe a little bit too folksy. I'm, I'm looking for something that conveys the sort of laissez-faire, laid-back attitude of the islands. Let me try this one. It's a little better, but maybe a little bit too country. Uh, let's look here. Let's try this one. That's not bad. It's got a little bit of that beachy surf rock feel to it and, and also a little ukulele-ish. Uh, let's try this one. Little maps out in the blue. Now that obviously is some kind of mandolin or ukulele. So right off the bat, I like it. Yeah, let's try this. So I'm going to just choose this audio and I can drag it. I'm going to drag it beneath my current audio and it's going to automatically create a new audio track. 
Now, right away, we can see, yeah, it's a bit, uh, the track's a bit too long, so we'll just trim this back. We can always stretch it back out, but just to do the house cleaning and keep it nice and neat, we'll do that. We're mainly interested back here in the intro. I want to first just play through this without uh, my audio, so I'm going to mute my audio track right where I'm talking because I just want to see how it plays with the the video that we're using I'm gonna hit the space bar here so a couple things that I noticed in the music, there's one point where it goes from just the ukulele to you're hearing a little bit of drum action. We might want to consider moving the cut in our intro footage to that point. So right there, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to just move back. So right around here is where that drum hit is. You can almost see it in the, in the wavelength there, right? So let's go ahead and just try to move our footage or the cut in our footage over that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my transition and just delete it. And uh, let's go ahead and trim that clip back. And then we'll trim this clip uh, over to meet it. And then we'll go back to our transitions. What do we have? We had the fisheye roll, maybe roll down. And we can actually drag it and place it right there. If I double click, you can see it's automatically post-fixed because we dragged it into that post-fix uh, location. Let's just real quick look to see what this looks like. Right, so you can see that as the music changes, the shot changes, and it, we almost lined it up perfectly so it changes again when it goes from this intro right to me talking. Right, so that's kind of cool. But now what we need to do, if I turn on the audio, the, the audio track of me talking by unmuting it, you're going to hear that my voice almost certainly is going to be totally overpowered. Right, so what we need to do is fade the audio out. And we're going to do that by, number one, we're going to pull my audio clip and we're going to drag out additional audio here. And you see that little white tick mark? That's a fade in slider. So we can just drag this and say, you know what, fade from nothing up to full volume by the time I actually begin talking right here. That's just going to introduce the audio track, get some of that ambient sound in there. Then what we're going to do is say with the music, we'll say right around here, we're going to double click on the music track and what I'm going to do is place a keyframe. I'm going to do that by clicking on this little diamond icon here and you'll see it places this white dot. That's a keyframe. It's locking the audio in at that location. Let's slide our playhead over to the point where I begin talking and we're going to say, look, knock this down negative 24 decibels. I'm going to hit the enter or return key and you can see it automatically creates a new keyframe, but you can see the audio is just fading down, down, down until it's way lower. I'm going to hit the OK button and let's just test this out. Let's see how this works. Let's see if it mixed it together nicely at all for us. Have you ever had a vacation that has been so incredible? Right, so you see how that worked? That was really nice. And maybe I want the volume to be a little bit louder as it comes into me speaking and just take a little bit more time to fade. So I can drag these keyframes and I can adjust them just like that. Let's try it again. Have you ever had a vacation that has been so incredible? And that's pretty cool. So we go from what would just be this overpowering music to just now we have a very subtle music bed underneath me talking and the audio is mixed together very nicely there for the intro going from intro to the dialogue portion of our video. All right, just a couple last things before we wrap this up. I want to do a little bit of color grading here to this video clip. I want to change the color a little bit. There's some neat color grading and color editing tools in Filmora 9. I'm going to select the first clip of me right here, and I'm going to hit the little paint palette icon. That's the color correction, as you can see, and it's going to open up the advanced color correction box. Now, all you really have to worry about here is instead of worrying about what temperature means, just know that it's either more blue or more orange. Pretty simple. I'm going to just give it a little bit of blue and I'm not going to worry about tint, but again, tint, just think of it as do I want my footage to have more green or more purple? You're usually not going to go extreme, but sometimes maybe if it's a really fiery sunset, you might want to kick a little purple into it. Or if it's a really beautiful sunrise, you might want to kick a little more blue into it or, you know, whatever. Here, the 3D LUT. LUT is just a fancy term for lookup table. It's a video editor colorist term. Uh, basically what they are, are prepackaged looks. I'm going to go with the Harry Potter one. I think it works kind of cool for this particular shot, but see what works for your shot. Maybe uh, none of them will work for your shot, but no worries. 
Uh, then we go down here to color, and this has to do a lot with the brightness, the, sort of the toning of your image. So you can see contrast is involved. I might push a little bit of brightness into my exposure uh, and also a little bit of brightness as well. I'm going to reduce contrast about negative 40. A lot of really cinematic shots, you actually want to reduce contrast because you show off detail in the shadows and in the highlights, whereas increasing contrast tends to give you this really cheap, blown-out look. A lot of people don't think about it, but reducing contrast can be a really nice thing. I am going to boost vibrance. Vibrance is a great way to boost the saturation of your video without destroying skin tones. And then I'm going to reduce saturation a little bit. I'm going to come down here to light. This just is more brightness stuff. Uh, the highlights and the whites in the image, the really bright parts of, the, uh, of this particular shot, they're just a little overexposed. So I'm going to tone them down. Um, and then if you want to specifically target the darker areas of the image to introduce contrast, you can make your shadows a little darker. And then blacks, you can either make them really black or you can introduce a little bit of a fade to the really, really shadowy parts of your image and lift those blacks up a little bit. So lift the black point, so to speak. And then you have HSL, which is hue, saturation, luminance, and vignette options. We're not going to mess around with any of them. We are, however, going to save this as a preset. Uh, I'm going to call this Filmora 9, just like that, and hit OK. And then I'm going to hit OK to apply the color change to my video frame. There we go. Great. Now, the problem is we have cut our video clip, right? So we only apply the color effect to this one piece of the clip. Out here, we have another piece of the clip. If we move our playhead over, you're going to see it goes back to the old color. See the old color. So let's jump back into our color correction dialog box. Now here, instead of working in adjusting the adjust area, we're going to go to the presets. And I'm going to say uh, from this drop down menu, just give me the custom presets, the stuff that I've made. And right here, I've got Filmora 9. So I'm going to select that and apply it. One of the cool things too that I didn't point out, you can hit, just hit the little eyeball up in the corner and you can see a quick before and after. There's what the footage looked like before we applied our color correction and there it is after. This is more than color correction. This is actually color grading because we're, we're taking some artistic liberties with what we're doing. We're trying to stylize the footage a little bit. I'm going to hit OK here. It's going to apply that color grading effect to this piece of footage as well. All right, let's take another look at uh, something really cool that Filmora 9 has, and that is these effects. So under effects, you have all these different things you can do to your video. If you want to, to make some you know crazy early bird effect or this disco effect, uh, or let's do something a little bit different here. Let's go with the right here, the VHS distortion, or not VHS, VCR distortion. If I drag this and drop it on the video clip, it's going to apply that effect to my video clip, right? But it's just to that one video clip here. If I bring my playhead over here, whoop, I don't want to, well, I could zoom in a little bit. If I bring my playhead over here, I'm going to see that no VCR effect is applied to this clip, right? But part of the problem with a lot of these effects is they're very, very strong. It's not really a problem. It's a problem if you don't know how to solve it. It's good that they're strong because it gives you a lot of flexibility. We can edit this by double clicking on the video clip. And by the way, double click on everything because see, look at all the stuff you can do with this piece of video. You got these transformation options, compositing, stabilization, chroma key, like green screen stuff, lens correction, drop shadow. And then down here we have our video effects. And the video effect that we've applied to this clip is VCR distortion. And we have this alpha. The alpha slider, alpha is basically a fancy way of saying opacity. And opacity is a fancy way of saying how see-through is something. Uh, so if it's at 100% alpha, this effect is at 100% of its strength. If we just bring this back to like, I don't know, 30, you can see that it's a much more subtle effect, maybe more realistic. But maybe 30 is not enough for you. Maybe you need it to be at 65 or maybe you want it to be at 10 or something. You can, you can do anything you want with this. So I'm just going to reduce it to about 20 and I'm going to hit OK. By the way, you have motion and color options that you can play with as well when you're working with your video clips. We're not going to get into that here, but just know there's tons of stuff you can do uh, with your individual video clips. All right, let's go ahead and hit OK. And we've applied our VCR effect to this video clip. But have we actually applied it? We haven't really. We've kind of just laid it on top of it because I can double click on this video clip and I can say, hey, VCR distortion, hit the little X uh, icon and uh, it's gone. The reason that I do that is because maybe as we watch this, for some reason, we want to apply that VCR effect not only to this first clip of me, but also to our entire intro. How do we do that? Well, you can do it and you can do it easily. Let's go back to the effects here. I'm going to move down and I'm going to find the VCR distortion right there. You can drag this and drop it on top of video as if it's another piece of video. 
but it's not video. It's just going to be an effect that sort of drops down on any video clips that are beneath it. So you can see here, the video of me is beneath the VCR distortion. I just trimmed it out. You can trim it back. You can treat it just like a video clip. I'm going to just bring it right out to this helicopter flies around Rocky Cliff uh, video clip. So there on me, it's all VCR'd out. Here on the helicopter clip, give it a second, it's all VCR'd out. And just like any other clip, well, but before I do that, if I come over here, because the effect is not above this piece of video up on top of it, it's not affecting it. And the same thing, by the way, over here, if I come out here, the VCR effect is not directly over the video here, so there's no VCR effect. All right, now, just like before, you can double-click the VCR effect. It's going to open up the VCR distortion options, and we can just say, hey, look, I don't want it to be 100% alpha. I want it to be like 25. I want it to be a nice, subtle effect. Hit OK, and there we have it. We've dragged out a VCR effect on top of video, and this way you can have one effect that's uh, attacking or affecting multiple clips, and you can work with it just like a video clip. It's very easy uh, and a lot of fun to do. You can stack these effects up. You can do all sorts of cool things. Now, before I show you how to fade the video out, let's just do one more thing. I want to show you one more really cool feature of Filmora, and that is the titles they have. So these are like pre-built text transitions. And again, just like most things, you can double click one of them and see what it looks like. That's kind of cool. I'm going to move down here closer to the bottom and you can see there's all sorts of things. That's a little ornate maybe for what we've got going on here. Let's try this. Looks like kind of scripty. So maybe we could use this one. And I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to put it on top. And you'll see, just by dragging it out and letting go, it creates a third video track. So we have three tracks of video all stacking on top of one another. And it's important to also note here that you can have up to 100 tracks here in Fillmore. And now you probably don't have 100 tracks worth of content right now. But knowing that you have that many tracks you could potentially expand to, it's going to give you a ton of flexibility. If you need to add three, four, five, or 10 video tracks for all sorts of different shots you've gotten, you can do it. It's a piece of cake uh, and Fillmore 9 is going to let you do it. So I'm going to drag this little title back to the beginning of the timeline because I want it to begin as soon as the video itself begins. And I'm going to drag this out to about here, almost to where the intro footage is finished because right here at this line, that's where I begin talking. Let's move the playhead out a little bit. Obviously, we're going to want to change the text in our title, so we just double-click the title. And right now, we have some lorem ipsum. I'm going to change this. I'll say Hawaii space. Maybe I'll put a big dot in there. Nah, I'm not going to put a dot. I'm going to say Hawaii 2019. This is our 2019 Hawaii trip. Maybe you hate the font. Highlight the whole thing. We can choose a different font from the drop down menu. I'm not going to do that, but you could. You can change the weight, the size, bold, italicize, change the color, change the alignment, text spacing, line spacing, all sorts of stuff you can change here. You can change the opacity if you want. There's a lot you can do. There's all these advanced options with changing uh, timing and animation. There's there's a lot you can do with these built-in uh, titles and things as well. So we'll hit OK. And let's just see here. Let's go back to the very beginning and let's play through this and see what this looks like as well. Looks pretty cool. So we've got a nice title there. It'll play through that. And then, of course, just a couple seconds later, I begin talking and then it switches over and everything's good. Now, when we are ready to complete our film and, and everything looks fine, it's time to fade stuff out. So let's go ahead first and fade the audio away. This is pretty simple to do. Let's just zoom in a little. So I'm going to just grab my arrow and zoom in. If I hover over the audio, well, of course, we know we can fade that away. I think I will extend the music out a little bit. And maybe we would even bring it up a little. I don't know. I'm probably not going to mess around with that. But basically, the idea would be it fades to black here, and you still hear the music for a few seconds. So let's just listen through. Right, And we have that fade right on the end of that, so then eventually the music fades away as well. Now the problem is we need our video to fade to black. There are a few different ways we can apply fades. Um, I think one of the more effective ways here in Filmora is under Media. We're going to go to Sample Colors, and we're just going to choose a black, a solid black video clip. And you can see we drag that, place it right there at the end of our video. And we're going to go back to Transitions. And I'm going to look for the fade transition. I believe it's here under basic. Yep, dissolve and fade. So I'm going to go with fade, and I'm just going to place it right onto that. And we should have this nice fade that takes place. Let's check it out. Beautiful. Just like that, we have edited 
a little video clip, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, before I let you go, we have to take a look at how to export the video and get this thing ready to be uploaded on YouTube or Facebook. Filmora makes it really easy and it's really fast in terms of editing. Of course, it's going to depend on the speed of your computer and how powerful your computer is, how big your video is. This is 4K footage we're exporting, so this would take a bit longer than, let's say, standard HD footage. There's so many variables that go into how fast you can export, but in the grand scheme of things, Filmora 9 exports video pretty, pretty fast. We will come up here to the export button and we'll say, hey, look, create a video for me. Now, if you haven't paid your version of Filmora, you're going to be presented with a bunch of options in terms of how do you want to buy Filmora or do you want to keep using the free version of Filmora? If you use the free version, there's a little watermark they put on your video. Well, it's a big watermark, but it's a watermark. It's noticeable. Uh, but when you have Filmora, you're going to be presented with this. MOV is great for YouTube. You're going to want to stick with MOV. It's going to be easy. No frills, no nonsense. You can give your video a name. You can choose where you save the video on your hard drive. Just hit the drop down menu and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'll double click in here and I'll name the video uh, Hawaii underscore 2019. And then we can see the resolution is that that UHD, that 4K. The size of the video is about a quarter of a gigabyte and the duration of the video is 52 seconds. And all we got to do here is hit export. Now, you can also upload direct to YouTube or Vimeo. Uh, I've always been more of a fan of exporting my video and just uploading it manually through uh, the user interface. Maybe I'm a stickler about that. It's just the way I generally do things. I'm going to hit export and Filmora 9 is going to get to work exporting this video and it'll be done in uh, no time flat. And we can see here in the finder, there is our Hawaii underscore 2019 dot MOV file ready and waiting to be played. And that's really all that's left to do at this point is play the movie, see what you made and sit back and admire your work. Have you ever had a vacation that has been so incredible that it lives in your dreams? Like before you go to bed, you're still seeing visions of this trip. We just got back from a trip to Hawaii and it was absolutely incredible. We spent three days flying around the islands in our little yellow helicopter. Uh, we flew along the coastline, ocean on one side, the tropical jungles on the other, flew through the jungle to go see this uh, amazing waterfall, one of the fifth fifth largest waterfall in all of Hawaii. It was absolutely, absolutely incredible. Never, ever experienced anything like it. Hawaii, definitely. Top five places that I've ever visited in my life. Hawaii, you are beautiful. Well, there you have it. We created that tutorial. And you can see it, it, it just... A great little piece of software, especially if you're a beginner and you don't want to overwhelm yourself with 100,000 different things and technical aspects to the video. You're just focused on telling a story. Filmora 9, it just makes it fast. It makes it fun. It makes it easy. You can take those ideas in your head, transform them through, and have a finished, fun, final product video uh, at the end of it. Uh, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, so for everything we covered in Filmora 9, from basic edit, uh, video editing, transitions, even exporting video at the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, I'll catch you in the next one.